All right, so I'm not a huge fan of graded coins. Um, I mean, I like graded sports cards. I like graded comic books. But when it comes to coins, not so much. Uh, but I did make an exception here this week by uh, picking up this 2024 American Silver Eagle with the Star Privy mark uh, right there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I guess this is the first time that uh, American Silver, e Silver Eagle has a privy. I think other countries do this regularly, but not so much here. Um, and so this is NGC uh, graded MS-70. I got it on uh, SD Billion's website. I think it was like 180 bucks. Um, but I've seen different slabs, uh, but with the same grade. Um, this one says one of first 50,000 issued. Um, and the mintage on this, I guess, is a half a million, which is an insane amount. But for example, in the sports cards, half a million, I mean, it's, it's, doesn't mean anything. Uh, I'm not sure in the, in the coin collecting space, is that like a low, considered a low number? Um, like when it comes to cards, like, you know, numbered out of 10, numbered out of 50, that's considered low. Numbered out of half a million is just, I think, a regular print run <laughs> for a sports card. So uh, anyway, um, so I did grab this one and um, feel like it's something my father probably would have wanted picked up too. So I'll, uh, I'll put this in the case with the rest of those graded coins. And this is a, um, a guardhouse coin slab. Baggy, I guess. And it's not quite a perfect fit, but close enough to keep you know scratches and fingerprints off off the slab itself. So 2024 American Silver Eagle Star Privy, and then I also well, I, I attempted to finish a couple of uh, rolls of uh, American Eagles this week. I was in New Hampshire, and I went to the Coin and Stamp Shop. Tim up there, you probably see him in other. Well, one other particular channel features them quite a bit. And I got uh, five eagles. And uh, these are backdated, I think, what, 20, what do you give me? 2011. Because I already have, ew, yikes, I already have a roll of, of 2024. And so I wanted my other roll here to be just random dates, brilliant uncirculated, that kind of thing. Um, you can see the one that I, that I attempted to clean in the middle there. But so there's the American Silver Eagle uh, roll. And then I wanted to finish off another roll of maple leaves. And I asked for and paid for 16 of them. And it wasn't until I got to my hotel that I realized he only sent me or gave me 14 of them. So I'm owed two. And, you know, we were talking a lot in the shop. And, and I just, I probably should have counted them then and there. Um, so not a big deal. I reached out to him and he's going to put a couple in the mail for me. Uh, so I could finish out this roll. And these are also backdated eagles. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, maple leaves. Um, these feature Queen Elizabeth. So I have a roll of 2024s, which have King Charles, and I wanted you know something that wasn't 2024. And so he had a bunch of uh, what were these? 20, I think 2014s he had, and um, that's what he gave me. So I'm owed two more of these. I presume they're on the way. Hopefully. <laughs> In the mail, if not, I'll just stop in when I'm up there again in a couple of weeks. And then, um, yeah, probably the next coin-related video might be the, the full stack, or at least m my own personal collection um, outside of what my uh, father gave to me. Um, I've been doing this since about July, so three months in, and maybe we'll take a look at uh, my progress uh, in the coin collecting space over the last three months. That will do it. Thanks for watching.